2030, the global community has fragmented and tensions between nations and regions are high. A prolonged Middle Eastern conflict in the 2010s caused oil prices to spike above $400 and the economic and social repercussions are still being felt everywhere. In this divided world, it has proved impossible to coordinate a global response to carbon emissions. Regional blocs now focus on their own needs like food security, resource shortages and adapting to the effects of climate change. Expensive oil has led to investment and innovation in low-carbon energy, but the persistent and unrestricted use of other fossil fuels means that overall emissions do not fall as hoped. China's economy dominates, leading the way with electric vehicle technology, which it sells on favorable terms to select low-income countries, increasing its influence there. All states that import oil have seen their economies stressed, but for many low-income countries, this has led to food shortages, as transporting, fertilizing and irrigating crops becomes prohibitively expensive. Severe famines have made food security a universal concern, and vegetarianism the only moral choice for many around the world. Conflicts over water resources have also become common, with frequent low-level fighting around the Himalayas. For some, the pressures of resource shortages, high oil prices, climate change and retreating globalization are too much and states begin to fail. In some parts of Africa and Asia, countries have taken action by integrating their currencies and welfare systems and by sharing their resources. Global supply chains have contracted and now for low-income countries it only makes sense to export high-value processed products. In low-income countries where energy is available, desktop manufacturing takes off with citizens building functional products in recycled plastics for blueprints available on the net. And in some states, female-led governments have managed to drive bottom-up development where the people's needs are put first. But these are small rays of hope. Increasing inequality, climate change impacts and the growing numbers of climate refugees make this a frightening and turbulent world for many and one in which low-income countries must all too often cope alone. <laughs>